uh, just hard. looking back at that third quarter, what do you, what were some of the, the things you saw there that kind of turned that game? Well, they hit a couple shots um, to start the quarter. Three uh, by Wendell Carter. And Carroll hits a mid-range. And then um, Wagner hits a three. So they hit some shots. We missed some. And we just got to find a way to continue to trust and generate some offense uh, during those moments. Just big picture. I mean, like, this is, you know, I'm sure a stressful time for you guys, like tough race. Like, how do you keep the, the spirit, the morale high in, in kind of times like these? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, tough loss last night. But for me, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's just it's be steady. Um, Adversity is going to happen at some point. You're going to run into some moments where we're not playing our best, playing against some tough opponents. Come in, let's continue to work. We wake up the next day, continue to fight, um, watch film, continue to focus on what are we doing well. Let's make sure we try to capitalize on that. Um, our margin for error is a little smaller without Brandon and Jose. We have to understand that, and that's it. Go back after. Oh, those two guys are Brandon and Jose. They're good. They're good. You know, steadily improving. Will it affect your shooting at all, Coach, do you think? Is that something that's concerned you as far as putting him back out there? Z? Mm -hmm. Um, we hope we hope it doesn't. We hope it doesn't affect his, his shooting, his his ability, his touch at, around the basket. But um, we'll know more probably tomorrow. Well, with the allowed increased physicality across the NBA, does that give you any kind of pause for when you want to play small, your preferred route, and you maybe think I, I'm forced to play bigger at times? No, not really. I think um, our small group, you know, has been has been really good for us. Um, we got to finish possessions and rebound the ball a bit better. It's, it's, it's been an area of growth for us, but the more we've played that group, the more confident we've grown in, in playing them. And um, the game is going to be physical at this point in the year. We just have to understand. Do you think it was a flagrant one on the uh, Harris foul? I definitely think it, it was a it was a, a flagrant. Probably should have been shooting free throws. I mean, it, that's a tough play. They don't even allow that in football. Um, I know, you know, somebody said he slipped, but when I wa went back and watched, even when he slipped, he still lunged at Z's uh, legs. So I thought they, they, that play, they had that play incorrect. The official said he slipped. The official said he slipped, no. which he, he did, mm -hmm. but he was already lunging towards his, his legs anyway to try to get the ball, and he took him out. So it's the same thing as my intentions may not be to – to, to my intentions maybe to go for a block, but if I slap you across the face, they normally give you a flagrant for that. And um, you know, it was the same type of play for me. As a, as a follow-up, you know, all the con conspiracy theorists out there think Zion never gets a call. I mean, that's that's video one for them, right? When something <laughs> like that happens, right? It should be. Uh, I, I think he. we definitely feel that our frustration is that we don't get the same calls as other teams. That's our frustration. And it's happening over and over again. We'll, we'll send the clips in, but we would like to, to get the same calls. And um, we're not a team that flops. Um, and maybe we have to do a better job of selling some of them, but we definitely getting fouled and we feel like they're missing some of them. Why do you think really him specifically as a guy who just doesn't get a lot of sympathy? I think when you look at his size and his strength and speed, um, a lot of times, they feel like he can play through it. Uh, but it, it's whether he can play through it or not, the rules are the rules. Um, and if you get fouled, you get fouled. Simple. And Willie, after watching that on video a few times this morning, was it a little more understandable on why the guys reacted maybe the way they did to finish a game where they you know, got thrown out? I, the, look, I, I definitely understand frustration. Um, we're all frustrated. Uh, but it's a difference between getting technicals in between the lines because I'm battling I'm battling their players and then getting thrown out at the end of the game when the game's already over. Um, they pretty much got the game sealed up, sealed up. Like, we got to finish the game the right way, and we can talk about being frustrated after that. Coach, did you ever consider deliberately getting thrown out to show your frustration? <laughs> I've, I've considered it many times. But, but you, you know, you, you walked out there a little while. You could have walked out a little further, and that probably, probably – would have done it. Did that cross your mind at all? I don't think they would have thrown me out because they knew that was a dangerous play. And um, I was walking out really to check on Zion. 
-hmm. It had more to do with him than it had to do with the actual officials. But I did get on them. To, they had to go look at that one. And um, they went and looked at it. Mm -hmm. they, they called what they called. But again, look, this is where we are. And I don't want our team to, to, to have complaints, to start being a complaining team. But we, we definitely want the calls. And you could have, an injury like that could, could, could seriously set back a person's career. For sure. Knee injury, for sure. Right? It's a dangerous play. For sure. Do you plan on discussing it with the league any further, or do you have any recourse, or is there anything you can do personally? No, we do. We, we discuss it with the league. We send the plays in. Um, Trajan and Griff, they, they talk to uh, the managers of the referees, Monty McCutcheon, and we try to get some clarity on, the, on, on these, some of these calls. When you, when you have three guys like Herb, Trey, and Dyson, who are all pretty even keel yeah. individuals, uh, hit hit the bricks at the end of the game. That's not a good look for the league. Do you think when something like that happens? I'm not sure how the league views it, but just from inside our camp, it's like I get it. You guys were frustrated, um, frustrated with the calls, frustrated with the way the game with went. Um, and you're going to get some technicals every now and then. I'm not saying we're against that, but mm -hmm. at that point, it's like finish just just finish the game the right way and let's. Let's walk off the court, talk about it, and come in and get better the next day. Can you rally? 100%. No doubt. No doubt about it. We can rally. Have you had that discussion, or do you even need to go there with your team on that? We talk about it for sure. We talk about where we are, and for us right now, it's one game at a time. We got San Antonio, San Antonio coming up, and we'll put our focus on them. and try to do what we need to do to, to win on the home floor.